Polio, or poliomyelitis, is an acute infectious disease in which motor neurons coming out of the spinal cord are targeted by poliovirus. Acute flaccid paralysis is a hallmark of the major illness and has no specific treatment. Although it was once one of the most feared diseases worldwide, eradication initiatives using vaccines have been extremely successful. At the end of this video, I'll go through my mnemonic to help you remember the main clinical features of poliovirus using Papa Polio. Poliovirus is a type of enterovirus, which is a group of RNA-based pathogens named because their transmission is through the fecal oral route. This is particularly likely in low hygiene settings. From the gastrointestinal tract, it may spread via the blood to the lymph nodes and rarely to the central nervous system, where it affects the motor neurons in the anterior horn and brainstem. The clinical features of polio vary significantly between patients. 90% of infections are asymptomatic, but even when symptomatic, the most common presentation is a minor illness with gastroenteritis and flu-like symptoms. However, if the infection does spread to the CNS, the destruction of motor neurons in the anterior horn can cause acute flaccid paralysis. The extent of weakness may vary, ranging from one muscle or group of muscles to quadriplegia and respiratory failure. Respiratory failure due to bulbar paralytic poliomyelitis is a medical emergency and has a mortality rate of approximately 60%. Proximal muscles are usually affected more than distal muscles and legs are usually more affected than arms. This often occurs in an asymmetrical manner. Sensation is almost always normal, but tone is reduced and reflexes are decreased or absent. The onset of motor weakness typically coincides with signs and symptoms of viral meningitis, such as neck stiffness, headache, fever, and vomiting. When assessing polio, if you ever have to, remember the diagnosis is usually made clinically, the gold standard investigation for confirming the infection is viral isolation from stool, which is quite sensitive. It can also be found in the CSF by either PCR or viral culture. The management of poliomyelitis is supportive, including pain management and physical therapy. Historically, if respiratory failure developed requiring mechanical ventilation, iron lungs were used. These are mechanical respirators which enclose most of a person's body and varies the air pressure in the enclosed space to stimulate breathing. This was prior to modern positive pressure ventilators. The most common complication to remember is post-polio syndrome, which is characterized by chronic neuromuscular sequelae. Some patients experience new or progressive disability, usually occurring decades after the disease itself. Early physiotherapy is key to maximizing and restoring limb function, in paralytic poliomyelitis and in post-poliomyelitis syndrome. To remember the key clinical features of poliovirus, I remember papa polio. It can cause acute flaccid paralysis, which is usually asymmetrical. The most frequent complication observed following infection is post-polio syndrome. However, most of the time infections are asymptomatic or cause minor abdominal features like excessive pooping. Thank you so much for watching Townsend Teachings. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.